Well, I'd like to welcome everyone to today's program. Today, I'm with two ladies, uh, industry leaders, Linda Silverman and Laura Craven. Linda Silverman is president of Maintex Facility Solutions, an industry leading manufacturer and distributor of high quality janitorial supplies, cleaning chemicals, and equipment. Linda has a long history with ISSA, volunteering in many ways, even, even serving as a term as the ISSA president. At this time, Linda serves as co-chair of the Hygieia Network and ISSA Charity Signature Program. And with us as well is Laura Craven, the Vice President of Marketing and Communications with Imperial Dade, which is a national distribution company. In that role, Laura oversees all aspects of marketing and corporate communications, brand and reputation management, DEI and employee engagement programs and media relations, and she serves as co-chair of the Hygieia Network. Ladies, welcome to our program. How are you today? Great. Thank you, Jeff. It's great to be here. Yeah, it's, it's great to have you on our program to talk about Hygieia. Um, and that's, that's an important topic for our industry, especially in the cleaning industry today. Uh, let's dig into the Hygieia program and help our viewers see how important it is and maybe what they can do to be involved with the program. And Linda, we're going to start with you today. Maybe you can give us some history and explain the mission of the Hygieia Network. Thanks, Jeff. Um, our mission is to provide programs, tools, and support that enable all women in the cleaning industry to accelerate their careers and achieve their full potential. And what we know is we realize what's good for women is good for business. So Hygieia was founded in 2015 through the generosity and support of Diversi, and at the time their CEO, uh, Ilham Kadri. And she really got our program off and running and served in that role for several years. And about two years ago, Meredith Rubin from EBP took the reins and helped us expand our programs and our committees. And today, Laura and I are serving as co-chairs. It's the first time we've had a co-chair role, which has been great. And we lead um, a group of 13 Hygiene Network Board uh, Council members. There's four people on our executive advisory board. And we have six committees that are populated with over 20 very actively involved women in the industry. We have committees for mentoring, uh, networking, regional communities, events, education, finance, and uh, marketing. So we've been very busy. We have lots of things going on and that's a little bit about our history. Well, it's great to have some background. I would say, that since you're splitting, you're co-chairing, it's probably really an easy job, but that's not the case, is it? it you're busy, you're busy. busy. <laughs> We've become fast friends through this. We talk very regularly. Yeah, I'm sure you have. Well, Laura, I believe there's something interesting to share, maybe something new about Hygieia. Yes, that's right, Jeff. We are very excited to be launching the new Hygieia logo. And Linda and I spoke when we first took over the, the co-chair positions in December and decided that it was time for a new look for Hygieia. And we wanted to have something that better reflected our mission, something that was dynamic and modern with a nice bold font and colors that were complementary to our new website. And this is the logo that we came up with. Um, a lot of Input came from ISSA marketing, and that was terrific. And the final product, we're really happy to show it off. Yeah, and as we see on the screen, it's, it looks great. I bet you're excited to push this out, making history, really, with this rebranding. Absolutely. You know, those who are involved with or look to work with the Hygiene Network would want to know about your programs as well. So you have the new logo, the updated logo, which looks great. What about the programs that are available? Mentoring was the first program that we offered and um, people really wanted a mentoring program. And today we have over 635 active members that are either mentors or mentees. And the program's an easy to use app. Uh, it actually matches the mentor and the mentee. I like to call it match.com for uh, mentoring. And you put in what you're looking for and um, it, 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 mentors to, it puts the mentors together. And what our goal is, is to um, provide, uh, help people with skill sets, increase their confidence, get hands-on experience, help achieve their goals. It's a very rewarding program. Most relationships last 
at least six months and many go on for years and years. I've had three people I've worked with and I found it to be very gratifying. And I think it's really a helpful program. And what we wanna do is really get more people involved so that they can realize the benefits of the mentoring program. Laura, anything to add? Another big aspect of our programming is educational content. And we have a few different ways we deliver this. Um, sometimes it is through a webcast. Other times it's more participative where we have a virtual conference with breakout rooms. Uh, we're also looking at delivering educational content through a learning management system. And hopefully later this year, we will return to in-person conferences and we're really excited about that. Another program that we're putting quite a bit of effort at is to develop our regional network program. We're starting with seven metro areas and we're getting volunteer regional captains and they will be responsible for programming that is for the women in their local area. And it might be a lunch and learn, it might be a conference, it might be something more social. And we're really looking forward to getting people connected and meeting in person once again. Yeah, we all look forward to that, don't we? Yes. In fact, talking about meeting together, Laura, I think you had something to say about ISSA Show North America. How will Hygieia be involved with that? Hygieia will be hosting our annual awards reception this year. It's going to be held on Tuesday, November 16th in the evening at the Bellagio. So stay tuned for more information on how you can register for that event. And we're also discussing some other ways to get involved, perhaps um, hosting an educational event on Monday the 15th with a topic around diversity, equity, and inclusion. Yeah, all of these uh, activities will be, of course, announced through ISSA's different media platforms, so everyone will know what's happening. Linda, tell us about the Hygieia sponsors and how they have helped. Okay. So I always like to think uh, we are part of ISSA's charities. And I like to think of a charitable, a charitable organization as a three-leg stool. You need three things. You need volunteers. You need um, knowledge of what you're, uh, the programs you're trying to uh, create. And you need the financial support, the sponsorship. So it takes all three of those. And so for us, sponsorship is very important. And we've had a number of really generous companies within the industry help with sponsorship. And so we've created a variety of levels of sponsorship. We have sponsorship for the event. We have a silver level sponsor, a gold level sponsor, a platinum level sponsor. And then this year, we actually have created a new sponsor le a level called the diamond level sponsor. And each level um, gets various benefits. But most important, we are a uh, nonprofit, so it's a charitable deduction. And we really need all the support so we can put together these wonderful programs. And so we welcome anybody who's interested in helping us to be open to speaking to either Laura or myself or Sandy Wolfram, who's our director of development. So everything we do is, we try to do is a variety of programs. And so we really make the plea and seek your support with our sponsorships. Yeah, well, it's great to hear about the sponsors that have supported Hygieia. Uh, our last question to Laura, uh, how can those in the industry get involved and learn more? The easiest thing to do is visit our website, which is hygienetwork.org. And from that website, you can sign up for the mentoring program, you can sign up for the online networking community. Uh, there's information about our conferences and webcasts. And if you're just looking to get on our mailing list, you can fill out the contact form and receive the newsletters and invitations to all of our programming. And I will say that even though our mission is to advance women, men are definitely welcome and we have a lot of men that participate in our events as well as on our council and in our committees. So uh, all are welcome.